Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another video on learning sheet 16 from Kalika Chetarika of class 9. So before starting the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So here the question you can see, in the figure a parallel line and a transversal is drawn. So these are the parallel lines and one transversal. Transversal is a line which is cutting this two parallel lines into half parts, okay. Measure and write all the eight angles using a protector. Okay, so you have to measure all this using a protector and you have to write down the answer in the given provided box. So let me measure and show you the angles over here. As you can see, okay, okay. So you can see over here, this angle is nothing but 60 degree. Okay, this part is 60 degree and this part is 120 degree. As you can see from here to here, it is 90, 100, 110, 120. So this part of angle is 120 degree and this part of the angle is 60 degree. Okay, so let me write once. This is 60 degree over here and this is 120 degree. Similarly, you know that the below part will also be the same. Okay, this is 120 degree and this is 60 degree. Let me show you. Yes, you can see here this part is, sorry, okay, okay, so this is again you can see this part is 60 degree and this part is 120 degree, okay, similarly if I reverse it here, okay, you can see here if I reverse this, yes, so you can see this part, this angle is nothing but you can see this is at 60 degree, okay. This is at 60 degree and this part is at 120 degree. Basically, this angle is opposite to this. So, it is 120 here and 60 here and this is opposite. This is 60 here and this will be 120 here. So, let me write here angle 1 is equals to 120 degree. Angle 2 is equals to 60 degree, okay. This is angle 3. It is equals to 120 degree. Angle 4 is equals to 60 degree. Angle 5 is equals to this is 120 degree. Angle 6 is equals to 60 degree. Angle 7 is equals to 120 degree. And angle 8 and angle 8 is equals to 60 degree. As you can see all these angles. Okay. So name the following angles. Name the following angles as they have given all these cases. And here they have given. Okay. So interior alternate angles okay so interior alternate angles you have to show interior means this is the inside part this is the outside part okay so interior alternate angles alternate angles means if this angle 4 and this angle 6 are called as the alternate angle so you should remember it will form a z and this angle and this angles are nothing but the alternate angles so this is in the form of z okay and this angle and this angle is alternate angle angle 4 and angle 6 okay and one more angle you can see this is in the form of z okay like this reverse so angle 3 and angle 5 angle 3 and angle 5 are also the interior alternate angles okay now they are ask, asking us exterior alternate angles so exterior means the outsiders okay outsides external uh, exter external uh, ex alternate angle okay so here it will be this part and this part that is 1 and 6 so outside part okay 1 and 6 is somewhere here okay so the outside part if you can see this is in the form of z okay this is not internal okay this is out outside one you can say this is this and this angle okay so 2 and 5 you can see this 2 outside angle 2 and 5 similarly 1 and 6 1 and 6 okay so 1 and 6 next corresponding angles corresponding angles means if 2 is the corresponding angle then the corresponding to it is 6 the same angle like this if two angles are like this okay then this angle and this angle is corresponding angle similarly from this side also this angle and this angle are corresponding angles below also this and this will be corresponding and this angle and this angle will be corresponding so let me write corresponding angles 2 and 6 okay comma 2 and 6 similarly here 1 and 5 okay again comma 4 and 8 are corresponding angles similarly 3 and 3 and 
seven are corresponding angles. Okay, then vertically opposite angles two and four vertically opposite. They are vertically opposite. Two and four. Okay, comma one and three. Okay, again comma six and eight are vertically opposite angles. Okay, and five and seven. Five and seven are vertically opposite angles. Okay, then interior angles formed on the same side of the transversal. So this is one transversal, and the interior angles which is formed on the same side of the transversal are these are the two interior angles, three and six. Three and six. And one more side, four and five. These are the interior angles, four and five. Similarly, exterior angles formed on the same side of the transversal. This is the transversal. Extra exterior angles means these are the outside angles. That is two and seven. Okay, this side it is two and seven. Again, comma. This side it will be one and eight. Angle one and angle eight. Okay, then adjacent angles. Adjacent angles means side by side angles. So one and two are adjacent angles. Similarly, four and three are adjacent angle. Five and six are adjacent angles. Eight and seven are adjacent angle. Similarly, two and three is also adjacent. Okay, six and seven are also adjacent. One and four are also adjacent, and five and six are also, five and eight are also adjacent. So let me write here. Adjacent angles are one and two, okay, comma three and four. comma 5 and 6 comma 7 and 8 similarly you can even write 6 and 7 are adjacent 5 and 8 are adjacent 2 and 3 are adjacent because they are side by side similarly at last you can also write 1 and 4 are also adjacent to each other next you can see here complementary angles are given okay if the sum of two angles is equals to 90 degree then they are called as complementary angles okay so the sum of two angles you can see here this is you know that this angle totally is equals to 90 degree but it is divided into two different angles okay so if this angle plus this angle together if we add it is going to give us the sum as 90 degree so such type of angles are called as complementary angles okay so one more uh, type of angle you need to study here that is supplementary angle that is if the sum of two angles is equals to 180 degree now if the sum of two angles are equals to 180 degree then they are called as supplementary angles so here example they have shown this whole complete line if this is equals to 180 degree it is divided into two angles as you can see this is one angle and this is one more angle if you add both the angles then it is equals to it should be equal to 180 degree that type of angles are only called as supplementary angles okay so let us see this part identify the angles that are complementary to the given angles on the protector so on the protector they have given us complementary angle for 45 so 45 plus something okay so let me solve it here 45 plus something we will take it as x is should be equals to 90 degree so x is equals to 90 degree minus if you take this to the side it will become minus 45 so 90 minus 45 is equals to 45 degree only so our x is equals to 45 similarly here they have given 50 15 degree 15 degree plus x is equals to 90 degree so x is equals to 90 degree minus 15 so it will be equals to 75 degree Okay. Similarly, here they have given sixty degree. So sixty degree plus x is equals to ninety degree. So x is equals to ninety minus sixty, which is equals to thirty degree. Last here, forty degree is given. Forty degree plus x is equals to ninety degree. So x is equals to ninety minus forty. So x is equals to fifty degree. Okay. So this concept of co complementary angle is cleared, I guess. Okay. So here the uh, one more condition is been given. As you can see, directly they have given. Find the complementary angle and supplementary angle for the given angles. So if we are having thirty degree already, so what will be the complementary angle? What we should add to this thirty degree to get ninety degree? We should. know that if we add 60 degree here we are going to get 90 degree okay so 30 plus 60 is equals to 90 similarly here also 30 degree plus 60 degree is equals to 90 so here already they have given 90 degree it means here there is no complementary angle it will be 0 degree here they have already given 82 degree 82 means for 90 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 98 degrees we need 
okay so 45 plus 45 will be equals to 90 similarly here 55 is given 35 plus 55 is 90 15 degree is given 75 plus 15 is 90 similarly 74 is given 16 degree plus 74 is equals to 90 degree similarly you have to find for supplementary angle i hope you remember what is supplementary angle sum of two angles must be equals to 180 degree so let us solve it here so first one they have given 68 degree plus x is equals to 180 degree so x is equals to 180 minus 68 so it will be equals to 180 minus 68 means it will be 2 and 11 okay so it will be 112 okay so it will be 112 degree okay so here 25 is given 25 in 180 if we subtract 25 what we are going to get is 1 155 degree we are going to get okay similarly if we subtract 85 a 180 minus 85 let me write here 180 minus 85 degree so it will be 95 degree so let me write here it is 95 degree here 10 degree 180 minus 10 180 minus 10 is 170 degree so it is 170 here 122 180 minus 122 it will be equals to 122 means 152 158 so uh, 158 8 plus 2 is 10 0 1 will be carried and 8 and 1 sorry this is only 58 not 158 58 degree okay and here they have given 102 degree it will be equals to uh, 78 degree okay then 155 180 minus 155 okay so it will be equals to 25 degree okay then 110 they have given 180 minus 110 is 70 degree okay so again they have asked here identify the angles that are supplementary to the given angles on the protector so here 120 degree is given again we should write 120 degree plus x is equals to 180 degree so x is equals to 180 minus 120 which is equals to 60 degree so supplementary angle here is 60 degree next they have given 75 degrees so 75 degree plus x is equals to 180 degrees so x is equals to 180 minus 75 degree which will be equals to 105 degree okay so here 100 degree is given 180 minus 100 degree is equals to 80 degree okay so here 50 is given similarly you have to do x is equals to uh, 180 sorry 180 degree minus 50 degree which is equals to 130 degree so this was the learning sheet number 16 so i hope everything is cleared out here if you are having any doubts you can comment me down below i'll be back soon with the next video on learning sheet 17 so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you